What is up guys, DZ Fear, and today we're going to do something totally different. We're going to open booster packs. So, uh, we have six different, uh, we have six different packs here, and, uh, yeah, I think these are pretty fun to open. Um, they're not the Kaiba collection. I think on YouTube right now, including my own channel, there are tons and tons of videos of the Kaiba collection openings, and, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of sick of opening those. I think at this point, I pretty much, uh, tested all of my luck. I've opened, what, two Ash Blossoms and one Card of Demise and four boxes, so that's pretty cool. So today we have sort of a variety of packs, and, uh, I think I have these in the correct order of, uh, reverse chronological, so we're gonna open the oldest pack and then go to the newest pack, although most of these are old packs just in general and uh, yeah then we're gonna open uh, if we have time one Pokemon pack I know we already pulled the uh, the avatar of the channel but I still thought it might be kind of fun there are some cool stuff in there and then I also I, I paid for them and I can't return them so we need to open them sometime anyway this is photon shockwave pretty uh, influential set if I might add um, this had rescue rabbit in it and that was obviously huge when it came out it was very powerful so anyway we have senior silver ninja Mirror Mail, Plasma Ball, Level Dual Slasher, and whew, Junk Defender. The perfect pull. Those cards obviously terrible. Um, Luminize, Goblin Pothole Squad. I think Michigan could use one of those. Watt Cobra. This card's actually probably one of the best cards in the set. Um, and then some crappy wind-up card. Uh, so Junk Defender, and one of the reasons, by the way, I think it's uh, kind of boring to open kind of a collection at this point is because we all know what's in the set. We all know it's hard to pull Ash and Card of Demise and Utopia the Lightning, and uh, I don't know. For some reason, like when you're watching a set where every card is holographic, it can be cool for a little while, but eventually you just realize that when every card is holographic, it kind of makes none of them special. And uh, so in these ones, if we pull a holographic card, it's going to be like, oh man, that's crazy. And I've never seen a holographic card in a pack opening video. I've never seen a pack opening video because I'm the first channel to do it. Uh, anyway, uh, Earth Armor Ninja, that card. Wow, that is kind of weird looking. Uh, Dark Lawn. Chow and the Prophet. This card's uh, pretty good in Battle Pack 3 Draft. No one plays that, but I love Battle Pack 3 Draft a lot. And uh, this card's pretty good. So it might be Battle Pack two that I'm thinking of. One of the battle packs this card's in. Not battle pack one and it's pretty good. Insector Dragonfly obviously an extremely powerful card um, when it came out and it's currently still limited. Do I think this card should be limited? I mean probably not but it definitely is really powerful. I think uh, at this point the reason that Insectors are still in the ban list aren't because of the power of Hornet but the power of Dragonfly. I mean it still definitely has the potential to be abused. Um, and then Galaxy Storm. Evo Branch. Flame Armor Ninja. I mean, all these Armor Ninja cards are just awful. Uh, familiar priv Possessed Dark. Do you literally just pronounce that guy's name Dark? Gosh, Konami, they couldn't think of anything better than calling the card its attribute. For Shane. Uh, this one is Galactic Overlord. Uh, and this one had Heratics in there, and I can't really think of much else, but the main selling point of this particular set was definitely Heratics. Hey, we pulled one of the... Uh, the better ones. I should probably update my Heratic deck. I'm waiting for the Heratic Link monster to come out, but uh, I still have all those cards. Anyway, Heratic Dragon of Sue. Heratic Seal of Supremacy. Red-Headed Oni. Overlay Eater. Look at that guy. He's pretty crazy. Evo Diversity. Card's pretty cool. I mean, you don't like fix Evos, but like it certainly is good. Um, just because like the, you can actually search like Westlo with this. It's pretty cool. And then Eve Tile, Lag Nishuno, Lago Shuko, Berserk Skills, Overlay Isle, <laughs> pretty funny. Mini Guts, this has a bunch of random OTKs with it. No one's ever going to do them. I mean, some people can do them, but yeah, Mini Guts has some combos. Uh, next, we have Primal Origin. Uh, I actually thought, thought this set in particular would break the game with all the crazy support for some older decks in here, but it turned out that the next set, which. Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, Legacy of the Valiant. Um, the next set ended up being a lot better. But this one I thought was going to like break the game and ruin it. And uh, that didn't happen at all. Uh, so we have Galaxy Dragon. Oh, just Galaxy Dragon. Okay. Shogi Knight. Battle and Boxer Veil. Vale, Double Dragon Descent. Wait a second. Do I have these in the right order? Yeah. Yeah, because this came out. I was like, whatever. Anyway, Double Dragon. Number 80, Rhapsody and Berserk. Card's really good. And oh man, a Palikia. Pilica. It's Pil Pilica, right? Yeah, Pilica makes sense. Uh, this card's really good. It's Unfortunately, it doesn't really have a good deck to fit in, um, but it is certainly just in its own right a good card. 
I think probably the biggest thing holding this back is that you can't special summon cards for us to turn except wind monsters. Uh, but we've seen that, like, with the wind witches, that doesn't really matter. So the fact that uh, this card is held so much back with that, it's really disappointing. Um, but it certainly is good. I mean, it's probably... I don't know why, but it seems like cards that have revival effects that you want to synchro with, um, it usually helps when the, the card doing the reviving is the tuner, not the other way around. Because most decks play more non-tuners than tuners. So, like, Junk Synchron is good because you only have, like, so many tuners in your deck, but you have a lot of non-tuners. Um, but seeing this is a non-tuner, it kind of leaves you in a weird spot. Um, so that's probably why I didn't see as much success as it could have. Bolt Penguin. What a weird looking... Who cut off that penguin's arms and gave him electrical things? Anyway, Bell and Boxer Guy, Jackpot 7. The reason that, uh, if you're ever wondering why Morphing Jar number 1 and 2 were banned, it's because of Jackpot 7. So hopefully you didn't want to play those cards. Uh, next we have Legacy the Valiant. Now this set, which I believe was right after Primal Origin, um, actually did change the game. <laughs> um, there's so many crazy cards in here. Mainly, there is uh, number 101. And uh, Exiton Knight. Oh man, we pulled one of my favorite cards though. So, Gorgonic Guardian. I always try to put this card in decks. It is uh, really good. It's like a better giant hand. And it's like really good on card economy. It's pretty easy to make if you can actually play it in a deck. Um, that new like Century Soldier of Stone card makes it really easily. I like this guy a lot. But it's so hard to fit him in decks. There's, <laughs> there's so few decks that play rocks. And most of the decks that play rocks play uh, level 4 rocks. That's even harder. Uh, Serin Orca. Photon Charge Man. Luminous Dragon Ritual, and whew, Oath of Companionship, Overlay Booster, I'll put that over there, Overlay Booster, Exceeds Avenger, Dark Artist, possibly one of the worst cards in the game, um, Brack, Black Brachios, uh, this card's really good in Battle Pack 3, I know this one's in Battle this is like, if you ever see this card in Battle Pack 3, you have to grab it immediately, this card's so powerful, um, also I hear this card's pretty good in Duel Links, that, that almost, almost, Almost makes me want to pick up Duel Links again. Um, I like Dinosaurs when I played that game a lot. So, um, Cross Souls is our last one here. The obvious pull is either the color, co the cover card, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, or uh, Ghost Ogre is in the set. Although the chances of pulling that are pretty low. Uh, Raid after Sharp Lannis. Statue of Anguish Pattern. Oh man, this card brings me back. I love trap monsters so much. Oh jeez. I remember sitting there like <laughs> buying Max Rarity, Gravekeepers, um, Commandant, and Necro Valley just to play them in Trap Monsters. Jeez, that card's so cool. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai, a weird thing. Edgem Chain, we still can't search it. Uh, what is it, like three years after the set came out? Shukabaya, I don't know. And wow, we got only one hollow. <laughs> that sucks. Form Pell, Pinch Helper. Abyss Stunner. Oh man, we pulled that. You guys don't even know. This is like the this is the combo right here. You, you summon this guy, and then you summon this guy. This guy can't be started battle. This guy pops a card. Man, that, that's so cool. Uh, Doom Dog, and then this garbage Raid Raptor. Yeah, the Trap Monster is really cool. So this pack opening sucked. We didn't pull anything. Uh, maybe we'll pull something. Well, like I said, I think uh, part of the problem is we like, got so many good pulls out of the Kaiba collection. So what what else can I expect? Um, it's fine. These packs were on sale anyway. Um, we are going to open some of the Pokemon packs, though, because we do have time. So we did already pull the Avatar for the channel. I wouldn't be opposed to more copies of it. Um, I don't know. Oh, someone yelled at me last time because uh, I pronounced... I mean, I just pronounced the card Lotoed, but I guess it's Lotad, right? Lotad? Um, did anyone use the codes that these come with, by the way? I mentioned this in the last video. I'll show them if anyone plays the online game. A couple people seem like they did, so I'll show them again. Anyway, Lotad, I guess. Bidoof, Staryu, Volbeat, oh man. Nose Pass, we got a Weakness Policy, that's our Hollow. A Manphy, so we did get a regular Hollow, including a, so we got a Reverse Hollow. You get a Reverse Hollow every single set, and then the other card you're not guaranteed. So we got a Manphy, Torchic, Lantern, and Lombre. Uh, next up. Oh, Meryl, holy crap. Uh, here's the code card. If anyone, like I said, some people said that like the, these sets are actually still, there's like an expanded format on the Pokemon Online TCG. I don't actually know that. I have no idea, but people seem to like it. So I just wanted to show them um, the codes, whatever. Uh, Sunskirt, Corpfish, Horsey. Man, these like really stick together. Trapinch, uh, that guy that I'm not even trying to pronounce. And another regular Hollow, that's cool. An Electros. 
EXP share, energy retrieval, and grow vial. Then we open, this is the last uh, Pokemon pack that I have just in general. I only bought um, five, so no more Pokemon. It kind of ruined the fun when we pulled the spiel out of the first pack, so I don't really plan on opening any more of these. But uh, anyway, Spinda, Mudkip, I can't pronounce that, Solrock, um, Clamperl, oh man, oh no, I got excited. I mean, I already have the reverse, I already have all the rarities of like most of those field cards, but would have been cool to pull. Horsey, and oh, oh shit, that's cool. If anyone wants to see the some of the cooler Pokemon rarities, this is a full art Gardevoir. Very nice. Um, yeah, these are cool looking, I do have to say. This deck actually was uh, pretty good back when I was playing this game a million years ago, three years ago, whatever, 2015. Um, the Garden of War deck was pretty good. All the fairy cards are pretty cool. Um, these cards aren't legal anymore. The, the new Fall Arts still look about the same. I happen to like these older ones, so they definitely have some kind of charm to them. You can see like all the crazy, just be jealous of the Pokemon rarities. So that's pretty. That's a pretty cool pull, I'd say. That was better than our Yu-Gi-Oh pulls. Rare Candy, Electric Sound Lab, and then there's the code if you play this game. Uh, anyway, though, that is gonna end today's <laughs> pack opening. I know. I know. I just invented the genre. Um, I don't know if we're quite a pack opening channel yet, but uh, it's glad to see that we got. We're expanding the Yu-Gi tubing uh, genres. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys know this video. Um, I don't know what I have planned for the next couple days. I'm kind of have a lot of ideas that I want to do, and I just thought while I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, why not just open these packs that have been sitting in my room for like a month? So uh, I will see you guys later, though. Goodbye.